Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Road Time TV with your young Shepard, be grinding, rolling, and lighting, and smoking it. And I hope that my Road Time Entertainment fans are doing right now. All right, man. So we switched it up a little bit right now. All right. I wanted to laugh a little bit before I go to work, so I picked the, you know, on under and see what I could find, and I got the the dumbest criminals caught on camera. The ten dumbest, like ten dumbest, the ten dumbest criminals caught on camera. See what this about. Roll it. Every day. Every night. All the time. Man. Let's see what this. I kind of already like kind of skipped ahead of it a little bit. Like I didn't really watch nothing. I just wanted to get a little bit of like in between it. Because this is like 16 minutes and 42 seconds long. And yeah boy can't sit here for that long. My boy. Like I love you guys and everything. It's as all experienced criminals know, when burgling, the first port of call is to gain entry. This exact thought was on the mind of our next robber, who tore through the window of a garage in order to gain access. In the footage, he first realizes that the side door is locked, leaving him to move on to the window. Heaving and hauling in his hooded outfit, he eventually manages to pull off the window and clamber through. Yo, my, my thing is, all right, so right now you're on camera. Who's recording this? Like, do they got a camera in the yard set up somewhere? Or is it like a neighbor? Like, is it a, like a, is it like a neighbor across the street with a camera just like, oh, yeah, and you going on. <laughs> you going on, on boy. You, you, you going viral. Like, like, cause, or no, like, this is what they record for insurance purposes. I mean, no, like, you can't record it to, like, you know, like, when the cops come, like, yeah, nigga, I got you on camera, bro. You were, yeah, this was you, nigga, this, yeah. And they take that and put it online to make fun of your ass. After a few seconds inside, he then realizes what sees. Let's act like. Let after okay. a few seconds inside, he yeah. then realizes what CCTV footage has shown all along. The garage is doorless. It literally has no door. Upon realizing his mistake, he exits through the. <laughs> what the? Yo, just what the? <laughs> the empty garage via this more easy and accessible route. Like, hold on. So you telling me you go break into somebody's house and you don't even like? You didn't even scope out the area. You didn't even see, like, okay, how many cars are... Like, because, first of all, you can't... If y'all can see the mouse, you can't park no car right here. You cannot park no cars right here, my boy. So, wouldn't that give you a common sense to, like, all right, let me see if there's any cars. Because, like, if this is a garage, of course, they own a car. Like, you know, would you have a car? You would be a broke-ass, you know, I, like, how you own a, a car or a garage and you don't have a car? No, that's not... The, what I'm trying to say is, you didn't even scope out the, like, let me see how many cars are parked in the front, let me see how many bikes, like, none of that. You was like, like, nigga could have been sitting there with a shotgun ready to... After leaving with no haul and no dignity, the robber tries to open the side door once more. Surprisingly, it remains locked. The location of the crime is unknown, as is the fate of the dozy delinquent. Stupid. A drug dealer, presumably proud of his ill-gotten gains, took to Facebook Live to brag about his bales of cash. In the footage, Brian Hollings uses his stream to repeatedly show viewers his bundles of bucks, repeatedly uttering the illogical phrase, don't stop, man. We all love doing that. We all love flexing online. We all love showing people what we got online. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a quick lick for a lick lick. Ah, <laughs> man. All people are man. Hey. Yo, what time? Cutting up on my shit. Y'all know the story, man. Give you some money. I ain't gonna fail with you, bro. Got here, man. You hear me? I ain't gonna fail with you, bro. Got here, man. Straight up, man. You catch up, man. You please catch up, man. This shit don't stop, man. This shit don't stop, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, 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 h
The video also includes a bunch of other words and phrases deemed undecipherable by his wannabe gangster accent. The 22-year-old Jacksonville doofus was known to police for a wannabe gangster accent. The 22-year-old Jacksonville doofus was known to police for a number of offenses and was. So you're telling me you already know him by these boys. And by the boys, I mean little boys in blue, all right? Y'all are, like, you already know him by, this, like, by, by the boys in blue. And you gonna sit on live and flex your dirty money and talk about this don't stop. Knowing that you got police watching you. Boy, you just set, you, that was, yeah, that was a setup. You just set yourself up. That was. Was clearly on their radar. During the stream, officers enter his home slash trap house. One is heard saying, open the door, give yourself up prompting the dozy dealer to walk out of the room. That nigga went... Look <laughs> his face changed real quick! The room. Look. Look. Huh? Oh, what? 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 Oh, shit. The video then shows police officers walking through Hollings' home and searching for drugs and evidence. You were on live flexing. Now you on live getting arrested and <laughs> I bet you nigga find the camera like, oh. According hey. to officers, the live video did not lead to the pre planned raid, but it doesn't help that Hollings holds a reputation for being a big mouth braggart. He has a history of posting pictures online of himself holding guns. Like I said, my boy, you already on that radar and you already pull, you putting, you making yourself, like, what do you got to prove? Like, are you trying to show these things? Like, yeah, bro, I keep. ...and wads of cash. In the raid, which occurred in June 2017, officers found drugs, drug paraphernalia, and a handgun. Hollings, who is an aspiring rapper, allegedly already had convictions for drug charges, trespassing, violence, and child abuse. He was charged for possession of drugs and possessing paraphernalia. Well, are you? Are you alive? Paraphernalia relating to the potential delivery of drugs. You look like a fish out of water, bro. You look like you don't. Like drugs. I guess this does indeed stop. Didn't there really do the nigga though? But I guess she do stop. In March 2017, a not-so-smart thief made his way to a Washington, D.C. 7-Eleven to embark upon a big, bold robbery. Determined to demand a fat old wad of cash, he packed his kit, including a gun and a ski mask, handily appropriate for hiding his face. As all offenders know, masks offer a foolproof way of keeping yourself anonymous. They're even easy to use. All you have to do is pull it down over your villainous visage. That's where this guy went wrong. Instead of wearing the mask over his face, <laughs> Yeah, it don't even take him to finish it to know what's about to happen. So, from what we're gonna, let me go ahead and just do what I do over here. You know, let me try what I'm. What I'm trying to get good at what I'm. What I, you know. So you got a young brother. He look like a brother. I don't know, Hispanic something, whatever. Look like he about to participate. Participate, I. I swear, my girl gonna kill me when she sees some of my videos talk about this nigga can't speak for shit and he wants to be a YouTuber. This nigga is about to participate. He about to take in some criminal activities, you feel me? But instead of him, you know, being ready already in the car with the ski mask on, Glock ready, Glock already cocked and ready, he's gonna do all that in the store. He's gonna walk in the store, 
put on his ski mask, and then pull out the gun. Which, you should have just... I could be wrong, I could be right. And uh, we're just going to see. He leaves it sitting on the top of his head, revealing his identity to the cashier and CCTV cameras. You're gonna put it on, right? Once you're in, you put it on now, you show your faith, you go. Halfway through his botched attempt, he seems to realize his mistake, pulling the mask over his foolish features. It's too late now! What, hold on, hold on. What, let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm gonna just have to go back on y'all real quick. I'm sorry. Let me. Alright, hold on. In March 2017. March 2017, nigga, the corona wasn't even out yet. So there was no need for that, bro. Halfway through his botched attempt, he seems to realize his mistake, pulling the mask over his foolish features. The fate of the unmasked villain is currently unknown, though it's hard to imagine that police struggle to find him. As our previous entry was sort of aware, a disguise is an important part of a regular robber's wardrobe. All right, my bad. Um, but nah, I'm sorry, man. You gonna have to kill me, bro. You ain't finna put on, you got on some fake boobs. Fake boobs, clown shoes. And a beat. Flood the bank with an undisclosed amount. And look, I get it. Nowadays, BB gonna look so real. But come on, people. But sometime by now, if a gun is really pointed to your face, like, you should be able to tell what it is amount of money I, I get it you might be you know in shock you're scared that you're being robbed you're like you're at gunpoint i get it you might not think twice but i'm just saying a guy walks in with some clown shoes clown pants on whatever with some boot with some fake boobs on and a beard you cannot just go ahead and panic already you gotta look at this man like me not content with two robberies in one day he then attempted to steal a woman's car forcing her out of the vehicle so he could sit inside and count his cash Unluckily for him, the money came with a dye pack and had already exploded, leaving his banknotes covered in a reddish hue. Police arrived at the scene to find him still sitting comfortably in his brand new ride. He was later charged with multiple counts, including, unsurprisingly, bank robbery. Chief Gebert, one of the officers at Allegheny County Jail where the wigged warrior was taken, told reporters, quote, he'd be my candidate for America's dumbest criminal. Before being sentenced, the man was being held for two hundred and thirty thousand dollars bail. Man, look, I'm gonna catch on the next one, bro. Hope y'all like, uh, comment, y'all know the rest. Stay safe, one love.